We're talking about a northern swing for UNCW. Two games this week at Northeastern at Stony Brook. We'll have highlights of those games coming up. We introduce you to the redshirt sophomore Kamari McGriff in this week's Pepsi Player Profile. We'll also have our Play of the Week, the Player of the Week. We take a peek at the latest conference standings and look ahead. UNCW takes on the rivals this week at Charleston Thursday at home against Campbell, a new conference rival, Saturday night. All that straight ahead, this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Anticipated pass, oh, Whitfield dunk this time from Trezaria Wright. Instead of dunk for Horton Hayes. Come on, pressure it, pressure it. Well, UNCW took their final uh, longer road trip of the season with two games in conference play at Northeastern at Stony Brook as well. Coach, uh, those two games also got you to 20 games this season. It's amazing how quick this year goes. Yeah, it goes by fast. Um, I don't think, um, you know, when these guys start college, we always talk about cherishing each day. And before you know it, you know, your freshman year, you're going to end up being a senior. You just, you know, you really have to kind of stay in the moment and just uh, cherish each day that you have and try to get better as a person and as a basketball player. Let's talk about that day last Thursday in Boston, UNCW Northeastern. And uh, going up there, you knew that you had to kind of shut down uh, Chris Doherty, the big guy for them. And, and you did that, and certainly you had maybe one of the more complete games this season. Yeah, I thought we were completely dialed in. Um, you know, that was the main message when we went up there. Um, it was one of those situations where I told him, hey, look, um, I know that you need rest. Um, I'll do my part and give you the rest that you need. Um, but let's make sure in every meeting, um, every time we get together, that we have great energy and we're locked in. And um, that carried over to the court, and I thought we were really uh, focused for 40 minutes. Knocked down a lot of threes early on that game as well. Took an early edge against Northeastern and, and unselfish play. You finished with 16 assists. You thought it could be a high assist game. Yeah, we, we felt like it had to be uh, because they really uh, protected driving lanes. And so the spray outs would be open. And uh, they give up a pretty high percentage of, of um, you know, three points, uh, field goals. And uh, we wanted to try to exploit them in that area. And I thought we did it in all facets of the game. Yeah, really impressive game for UNCW. Impressive win as well. The lone game this season between UNCW and Northeastern. Let's take a look. Thursday night from uh, Historic Matthews Arena. The highlights for UNCW and Northeastern. Phillips over on the right side. It's White who knocks down the three. Known more for his driving game, but Trezarian White, who comes in 19th in the country in points per game at just under 21 with the triple. White, good ball movement, Hodge, a corner three, splash down of the Seahawks games. Three ball, corner, Hodge is hit it from each side. Okay, but certainly looked up to the task here today. Phillips going for two more, gets it. Five in a row for Shaheen Phillips. All with the ball spin off the top. Jenkins, corner three, and Bill Cohen needs a timeout. Short in a second offensive rebound. Here's Newby and he knocks it down. He had been really struggling from long distance last six games. Phillips on him. Now it's Raton Hayes and that's a deep three from almost the front row. He can score the ball and he's a big player that can defend multiple positions. Jenkins knocks it down. His second three. Five seconds to shoot. Drive by Ross, and he gets it to go off the window. Just the two points coming off a two-point game on Saturday. Phillips leaves it inside, but Griff. All the good players like this one right here, Trezarian White. He'll just drive to the basket and draw the foul. Still has time to operate, but it's knocked away by Phillips. Helps lead the charge. Phillips gets it right back and glides to the hoop. Shaheen Phillips. A lot of competition for that, especially among the scorers in the conference. Here's the drive by Ross. Throws it up, and it's been that 
sort of night for UNCW. Northeastern there with the movement. And then they finish it with a three-pointer from Rattan Mays. 77-54 final score for UNCW. Again, impressive win. Coach to 54 low for a conference opponent. So uh, obviously the offense was there. You knocked down 10 threes, but defensively holding this team to 54 points, very impressive as well. Yeah, we're, we're improving defensively. Um, you know, it's been something that's had to catch up with our offense, but uh, our offense was clicking, so that gave us better energy uh, on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, very proud of the guys. We did a really good job, you know, covering the main guys on their team. And I thought we finished uh, a lot, most of the possessions with a defensive rebound, which led us to get out and run. Yeah, plus 10 on the glass for UNCW. Three in double figures, 17 for Shaquem Phillips to lead the way. Also had seven rebounds and six assists. So very good all-around game for your point guard, Shaquem. Yeah, we need him to continue to be about that. You know, he's a scoring point guard, but we need him to do everything. We need him to set guys up. We need him to rebound. We need him to defend. Uh, we need him to do everything for our team. And um, in that game in particular, in a lot of games, he's done that. And he certainly did. The Seahawks winners of five in a row with that win in Boston on Thursday. We'll take a break here. When we get back, we'll uh, set the stage for the trip to Long Island, UNCW and Stony Brook from Saturday afternoon. Stay with us. You're true blue. Up before the sun. The men and women we count on every day. And you count on your Carolina Ford dealers so you can be ready for what's next. Stay focused and connected. Help inspire a generation. And when you need us most, we're here for you. Get 2.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings on select Ford trucks only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, grab me one too. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. It's so easy. Get out your own way. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Well, this trip up north for UNCW Thursday in Boston, it led to some travel on Friday, getting ready for Stony Brook on Saturday afternoon. So, Coach, let's start there. The turnaround certainly not ideal, but. You have to deal with that in conference play. And, and resting your guys was, was a key, I, I know, for you. Yeah, we wanted to let them sleep in. And um, we did all of most of our prep, um, you know, in Boston that morning. And um, so the, the goal was to get there and let them sleep. So we were able to do that. We did a little bit uh, before dinner on Friday night. And uh, we wanted them to get back up to their room and get some rest. Um, I thought we had great energy. Uh, I thought that helped us. Um, you know, we just we fell a little short. Hey, in a dogfight here against a, a very good and talented Stony Brook team that has some size. That size certainly at seven feet six ten that presented some problems. Yeah, much improved, much improved. I think they're right in the middle of the pack. Uh, a really good basketball team. Um, you know, Gino does a really good job scheming, uh, and they have size that not a lot of people in this league have, and it bothered us. Uh, but I thought we played extremely hard. Thought we played extremely hard. We had chances to win the game, and um, we just did not capitalize on them. Yeah, tough setback in overtime for UNCW here in this game. Again, you're getting your, the best punch from everybody, especially on the road. They know that you're one of the top teams. They want to knock you off. Everybody, everybody. Um, and this league is so tough, Mike. Um, you know, there's not a night off. Uh, even when you think it may be, it's not. Um, 
But they, you know, they gave us everything they had. And, and their guys made some big plays at the end of that game and in um, overtime uh, to seal the deal for them. But they're a really talented basketball team. So an overtime setback for UNCW snapped their five-game win streak. Let's take a look at highlights from Saturday's game. Battle victory. Tyler Stevenson Moore averages 14 points per game, his fifth year at Stony Brook. He said he returned for a fifth season due to unfinished business. Response from Shaikin Phillips, 42 and 23. Ross on the dribble handoff, attacks. Oh, nicely done. Seahawks have turned it over once apiece. Open triple Jenkins. That's what he did for the Lobos. And he brings that to Wilmington. Here's the problem with zone. You have to identify the other team's special. Crowd the paint now, trying to make it up. Well, a tough setback for the Seahawks, 86-78 the final score and overtime loss for UNCW. Despite a season-high 50 rebounds in this game, 25 second chance points, and, and you're talking about rebounds, Kamari McGriff, a career-high 10 rebounds for this team. So, uh, again, maybe a, a positive takeaway from this game for you guys is the way you hit the glass. Yeah, we hit the glass really hard. Like I said, we, we played extremely hard, which is, uh, you know, in this day and age, that's half of the battle with these kids is getting them to play hard consistently. And, you know, that's uh, part of our culture. And, um, you know, that's um, we're carrying that with us on the road. And, and we've been about that more times than not. Um, so that was a positive to take away from the game. And Kamari McGriff certainly got on the glass, but I thought Nolan Hodge and uh, Noah Ross, they were all over the offensive glass. Um, we played and we competed at a high level. We just, um, you know, up top, we didn't, we didn't um, execute when we needed to. KJ Jenkins uh, knocked in five threes in this game, 19 points for Jenkins as well, continues to play solid in the starting role for UNCW. Again, a tough setback on the road in overtime on Saturday. We'll take another break here. When we get back, we'll introduce you to Kamari McGriff, a redshirt sophomore post player for UNCW. Stay with us. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys and hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day, the walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength, in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs.
preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year-round. Then, it's game time, and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Time for another Pepsi player profile, and it is Kamari McGriff here today. And Coach, uh, you know, this is the first year in his three years. He was redshirted, played a little bit last year, but now he has started every game. He's getting some major minutes, and you're seeing him improve, and you're seeing some, some major upside to this young man. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a byproduct of, um, you know, his day-to-day. -day. You know, he's always in the gym. He's always um, trying to learn. Um, you know, he works at it. You know, when we first got Kamari, he couldn't even walk straight. Uh, he couldn't make a layup. He couldn't get through a 30-minute uh, individual workout. And, and um, you know, from that point when we when he got on campus, you know, he's gotten better every single day. And um, you know, I think with him playing in these games, he's getting him in-game experience, and he's gotten better every game. And you don't expect him or don't need him to be the focal point offensively, but he's been around the rim and he's getting the job done when he gets up all down low. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Kanaski, Coach Kanaski used to always say, uh, we got to get him the ball more. He's shooting 80, 90 percent. Um, and he's done that in practice. And so it's starting, it's translating over to the game. When he catches it in there and he can have an angle, he's probably going to finish it more times than not. Yeah, really put together a nice uh, redshirt sophomore season. Again, it is Kamari McGriff, our subject of our Pepsi player profile. John Smith sits down now with Kamari. Welcome back. John Smith joined here with Kamari McGriff, uh, sophomore, redshirt sophomore here at UNCW. What have you done in the offseason to get yourself ready for this upcoming season where um, tied for the tallest player on the team, um, your role or your ability to play down in the post probably going to be called upon a lot more than it has. What have you done to make sure that you can be ready? This offseason, I spent most of my time in the weight room to make sure I'm ready to bang with the big guys in this league and dominate the matchups I need to dominate. And also, I spent a lot of time in the film room studying the game. Um, that was the biggest thing I felt like I need to take a step forward and it's my basketball IQ. And that's what I did. How difficult and how hard was that off season, this off season? You come off being so close uh, to that prize of getting to the NCAA tournament. Was it just something that as a collective group, you said, we just have to get this done? Yes, um, I wouldn't even, I would use those words to describe it from the outside looking in. But from the inside with the group of guys the coach brought here and the, the amount of teammates we returned, it was actually fun. It was highly competitive and every day we're like going at each other, you know, trying to dunk, each other, dunk on each other, block each other's shots. Like it was very fun and we got better really fast. I was, the next question was going to be about how college basketball has changed. Teams are built differently. You look uh, like a team at Pitt, it was primarily all transfers. Uh, guys from the portal built it that way. This year's squad, there are a lot of veterans, a lot of guys that have come back. What is it about this team that everybody wanted to come back? Um, the sense of unity that we have, we have a good culture here where the coach does, doesn't just focus on what you can do on the court, it's, he also focuses on like who you are outside of basketball, so it felt like a family. The noise, distractions, anytime there's success, there are those distractions. How do you guys as a group individually um, mute it? And, but at the same time, enjoy it because you're playing basketball. This is a game. How, how do you enjoy it? Um, we, I mean, we enjoy it by, I mean, we enjoy it every time we play in trash. I and mean, we got the best fans in the country, you know, sell out crowds. Like, they have the best energy. We love home games. and. We kind of mute the noise by just focusing on the day-to-day -day task, you know, take it one day at a time, focus on our lifts, film sessions, practices, meetings with coach, um, everything. We just focus on day by day, and then we know the end result, that we're going to be a better team than we were before. A lot of road games this year, a lot of ice cream, hopefully. How has that kind of morphed? And I know that was a, a tradition that uh, had come over from Coach Keats. Um, at a late game, 
late evening when you're just trying to find that ice cream, how, how enjoyable is it knowing you got the win and you get that? Uh, it's super enjoyable. You know, road games, we kind of treat them like business trips. Sometimes we have a swing where in five days we'll play three away games. So we're flying literally every other day. And then when we're on the court and then sometimes the crowd, the away crowds aren't that loud. And even when they are loud and heckling us, it's, it's just business. We got to lock in and find it somewhere. And then afterwards it feels nice to go get some ice cream. You said you, you've been here three years. You, where are you in that leadership? Do you feel as if you're trying to become a vocal leader of a leader that uh, does it on the court? Is there a balance? Oh yeah, um, definitely. I've been taking a big step forward in the leadership role. You know, I've been with Coach Siddle for three years. Only a few of us on this team can say that, and you know, we kind of know what to expect from him and what he expects out of us in the locker room and on the court. So those vocal leaders. For you and your position is so unique. Is it one that is, uh, you know, is it rebounds? Is it t tips, block shots? Uh, you know, where do you, how do you, you know, factor into everything? Um, really everything you just named, all of the above, effort plays, you know, making the right pass, you know, going up and finishing after getting the offensive rebound. And if I have a mismatch, taking my guy and scoring, just being efficient at what I do and doing what I do best. Well, we appreciate you being here. We'll be right back. You're true blue, up before the sun. The men and women we count on every day. And you count on your Carolina Ford dealers so you can be ready for what's next. Stay focused and connected. Help inspire a generation. And when you need us most, we're here for you. Get 2.9% financing for 72 months with up to 4150 package savings on select Ford trucks only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, grab me one too. Now at Hardee's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. I'm just being myself, cool as can be. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. And now enjoy breakfast till noon every day. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. We're going back to Thursday in Boston, UNCW against Northeastern for our play of the week. It's defense leading to offense for UNCW. Still has time to operate, but it's knocked away by Phillips. Helps lead the charge. Phillips gets it right back and glides to the... Well, Coach, again, you love to see the defense leading to the offense, the steal for Shaquem Phillips, two-on-one break, and the assist. An unselfish play for Tan Mays to... Uh, Shaquem Phillips for the layup. Uh, again, part of your 16 assists you had against Northeastern. So defense to offense, great for UNC. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of uh, who we are. And, and we want to make sure on that end of the floor we're creating some type of offense for ourselves. And, um, you know, it was a really good break. We work on that stuff every day, and um, that's, the, that's the theme. we got to continue to share the basketball uh, on the break and in the half court. Yeah, showing why UNCW one of the best fast break teams in the country this season, our play of the week. Time for the Carolina Ford Dealers player of the week, and we go back to Kamari McGriff. And again, you look at the week he had six points, six rebounds that he averaged. He averaged 90% shooting, 90% from the free throw line, one block shot as well, had a career high 10 rebounds on Saturday. And, and again, you just see this young man continue to develop and, and you wonder what is going to become of him in a couple more years. Yeah, I think his, his best basketball is ahead of him. You know, as he gets stronger, as he gets more confident. Um, and, and you know, it's always good to see a humble kid that works hard, that's about the right things on and off the court. It's great to see him, um, you know, have success 
and what he loves doing. And, um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of him. Yeah, certainly he's, uh, again, as we said, has great upside, having a great season right now as well. Our Carolina Four Dealers Player of the Week, it is Kamari McGriff. We'll take our final break, back to take a look at the conference standings and a look ahead at two games against the rivals this week for UNCW. Back after this. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. Game day at Walk-Ons is just different. And it starts with the way our teammates prep each dish from our scratch menu. No shortcuts. We are hand cutting every single mozzarella log straight from the block. Hand peeling, stuffing, and bacon wrapping each voodoo shrimp. Hand carving ribeyes for our steaks and po' boys. And hand slicing, then tossing our boneless wings and our house-made sauces. With wall-to-wall -wall TVs and food like this, why would you want to watch anywhere else? That's game day. The walk-on's way. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Fortune with Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Excited to be on the UNCW campus today to talk to you about this week's Medical Minute. Shoulder injuries are extremely common in sports, recreational, and job-related activities. These injuries can range from chronic overuse injuries to traumatic injuries like shoulder separations, dislocations, and even rotator cuff tears. Sometimes injuries can be prevented, but sometimes with traumatic injuries they are not preventable. But we always talk about preventative strategies to try to limit their effects. One of the biggest things to consider is rotator cuff strength as well as upper back strength in addition to good posture throughout your day. As always, if these symptoms persist, please come see us at Wilmington Health Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Our goal is to support you with easily accessible world-class care for all your orthopedic and sports medicine needs. Preparing for the big game, athletes practice countless hours year round. Then it's game time and their fans get to see the results, cheering on their team to a win. At Coastline Insurance, we're working hard behind the scenes, preparing for when you need us, because we want our customers to be our biggest fans. Let Coastline Insurance shop your coverage and find out why we say, when we shop, you win. Find us online at coastlineinsurance.com. Time to take a look at the Hardy CAA standings. UNCW right now 5-3 and three stands in fourth place. And uh, again, still a lot of basketball to go. A lot of basketball at home to go for UNCW as well. But it's shaking out a little bit, Coach. Still some, some teams bunched up there in the standings. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to continue to beat up on each other. Um, you know, we're about, about at the halfway point. Um, we're in a good place right now. Uh, we, our back end, the back end of our conference play, um, you know, I'm excited about it because a lot of it will be at home. Um, against some, some good opponents. And uh, we have a lot of great opportunities out there left to, um, you know, carve our way out to the top. And I feel confident that we'll do that. Well, a couple of opportunities this week. It'll start Thursday in Charleston, UNCW, and the Cougars will hook up for a second time. And then Saturday at home against Campbell University, the new member in the CAA. Coach, let's talk about Charleston. You play them. It'll be about 12 days or so since you last played them in front of a sellout crowd in Trask Coliseum, a win there. What's, what's your takeaway and what adjustments do you make? Because you know they're going to make some adjustments. Well, obviously, we, um, you know, it was a great game, a game of runs, um, you know, a game that we finished very strong. Um, guys made big plays. Uh, we defended at a high level. Um, some adjustments, obviously, we need to clean up our rebounding. We have been rebounding well since that game. Uh, but they out-rebounded us. They were plus eight on the glass, and they had 17 offensive rebounds. So we have to clean that up. Our pick-and-roll defense, um, you know, and then some other things within our offense we have to clean up. But uh, we won't try to overthink it. Uh, we'll make some adjustments for sure, and I know they will, but it's going to be a high-level basketball game on Thursday. Again, Thursday in Charleston, we'll have the game for you starting at 645 on 95.9 The Breeze. And then Saturday, UNCW and Campbell, 7 o'clock in Trans Coliseum. Again, we're on the air at 645 on 95.9 The Breeze, Flow Sports, and also on WECT as well. Plenty of choices, plenty of ways to view that game, UNCW, and the new conference rival, Campbell University. So, Coach, a couple of rivalry games here. 
Best of luck. We'll talk about those games next week. Thank you, Mike. For Takeo Siddle and uh, our director, producer, Riley Nance, behind the scenes, I'm Mike Vaccaro. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. Anticipated pass. Oh, Whitfield bump this time from Trezarian Wright. Instead of dunk for Horton Hayes. Come on, pressure it! Pressure it!